Now, one theory is that the Banshee developed in the Middle Ages as a folkloric item due to the Irish practice of keening. Keening is a often professional person, a woman, will come and wail and cry and sob at your funeral. Technically, any woman could go keening, but professionals were sought after. And there's interesting little details about it. For example, some keeners were worried that they would become Banshees after their death just for being a keener. That fear does imply that Banshees predate keening, but again, it's hard to say. This is really a chicken and the egg thing. However, other accounts claim that a Banshee is a keener who failed to do her job. So somebody who was hired to be one of these whalers, but didn't have enough passion behind it, and as a result, didn't do the right thing for the person who had died. So it was a curse, a punishment for a human woman who failed to do her job. But as I said, the terminology, the, the woman of the fairy mound, suggests that the Banshee is not a spirit or a cursed person, but rather something akin to one of the two a day. 